Hi, welcome back to the channel. It's Ian from Off Grid with Penny Glen Cabin Live. Good morning to everybody. It's bright and early. It's it's 19 minutes past one in the morning. Uh, the camera I'm using is a Canon 70D. I am going to be buying the 90D in a few months' time. So, and I'm also using the 17 by 85 mm Canon lens. Now, if you're interested in buying any of this this camera gear then in the description under this video then I've put some links for Amazon they're affiliated links so how that'll work is if you was ever tempted to buy anything through Amazon these things I'm using then if you use them links it goes straight to Amazon and the price is the same as it will be normally uh, if you buy it the only difference is I get a small commission for selling it so Amazon pays me that so but it won't cost you a penny more but it just helps me with the channel to help it to grow and I can afford to keep doing free content in this section as well um, the microphone I'm using is the Rode Mic Pro and the tripod I'm using is a K&F tripod it's a really good tripod it's my favorite one what I want to talk about is living off grid has made me a stronger person that's the title now for me it has. Now it hasn't just physically made me stronger, which it has because obviously the extension I'm building, every single piece of wood that's in there, I cut with a hand saw rather than an electric saw. So obviously cutting away has made me stronger, which it has. Uh, but also because I live off grid as well, I'm walking around everywhere to get to everything that I'm doing on a day to day basis. Looking after dogs, so I'm moving around doing them and everything. So it's, got, it's made me a lot, lot fitter than I would be if I was just working in a factory or something like that. Or working as a baker. Now that's a big energy uh, consuming job. I know when I did that it was as well. It's a very heavy job as well, carrying big sacks of flour. So, so that's that. Now also, mentally, it's been challenging through the pandemic, I must admit. But I've got through it. I've had a couple of burnouts with doing YouTube and I've had a bit of stress with other things I've had. And I've had the odd time where I've been having a few problems. But I'm okay now. Back on a lever kill and I'm absolutely great. But I must admit, although those of you who watch my channel often will realise that I, well, will know that because I've said that I suffer with bipolar, which uh, used to be called manic depression and uh, because of that then i have fluctuations in health so i can go for such a long period where i'm on a level keel and then i can just drop right quick for no reason at all uh, but i've had that a couple of times while i've been here when i've been under stress uh, but like now i'm i'm very stable it has actually been better for me uh, with this health condition living off grid because i don't see anybody I don't have the stresses of life in the same way bombarding me all the time. So it's really worked out. Now, through the pandemic, I've had to shield. So I've not seen anybody. The only person I've seen is once a fortnight when I have an ASDA delivery. And again, I've got my mask on. I'm stood right at a distance. So I don't really get to talk to them. So that's the only person I've seen. Apart from my me, me neighbours who's next spot up. I sometimes see them driving up and down. Uh, but for the last few days I've pushed myself and I've walked up the lane and I've gone to see him for the last few days just nipped him for an hour or so so they're doing a lot of building work up there so I actually helped him out one day as well so so yeah so I've, en I've enjoyed getting out a little bit now a bit of good news uh, I mentioned quite a long time ago and it is a long time ago that I ordered an electric bike now the electric bike came the other day, I've got to put it together, so it's a rad bike, so uh, I'll film me putting that together the next few days. Now all, as you know the channel's all about off grid living and things like that and I do talks on other things and stuff but I've decided I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to do some filming when I'm out on the bike as well. So I want to try and get more fresh air on the bike, I want to go down to the beach that's isn't far from me. And I might do some fishing, so it's sea fishing. So I'm quite looking forward to that, catching some fresh fish and cooking away. So, so, so that's that. Uh, emotionally, like I've said, I'm a lot stronger than I was. Um, 
I don't have as many problems. I, I live on a small budget and I'm happy on that budget. I can get by on it. Um, I cut me on wood so that makes me fit as well. Uh, I burn it in the stove. I also mix in coal and things like that. So I, I'm pretty sustainable that way. But next year I'm going to be doing some big extensions on the side where I'm going to be building a workshop and a couple more kennels. Um, so all that's going to be built down there and I'm going to do a big veg area and I'm also going to get some chickens so I'm going to build a chicken coop. So I'm looking forward to the chickens. I, I had chickens before um, but the fox got them unfortunately many years ago. I had ducks as well actually funny enough. I had two ducks which uh, my mate gave me. So I... Um, <coughs> sorry for that. So, so I'm looking forward to all that. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get off now and I'm going to add a little video of the puppies let you see them uh, so it would be nice for you to see them so I'll bob it in and I'll catch you all soon <laughs> 